The list of things that might kill us keeps getting longer. I hadn't even thought about moonshots. Brax, skags, bandits, dehydration, heat stroke, regular stroke, stroke stroke. Whatever that is. That murder pile. The list just keeps getting longer. I've never felt so alive! <laughs> this is awesome! I can't imagine going back to financial reports. Ugh, boring! That's the spirit, buddy. It's just... I know it's weird to say, but I'm having a great time. Vaughn, I feel the same way. This! This is what I'm talking about! Mixing it up with Hyperion, teaming up with grifters? Come on, these are the types of stories we'll tell our children when we're millionaires. We just survived moonshots from Hyperion, huh? Friggin' moonshots, man! I am not afraid anymore! You hear me, Hyperion? I am Vaughn, and I am not afraid! Yo, what the hell was that? Relax, it's a vet. Oh, okay. I have to pee. And not because I was scared. I, I had to go anyway. This is perfect timing. Freeze, you're alive. <sighs> Thank God you guys are okay. I thought that was it for a second there. I am so relieved. Well, there doesn't seem to be any permanent damage, but I can't really account for internal bleeding. Tell her to send some supplies! Yeah, don't talk to me while you're peeing. Thank you. Sorry! Almost done! Anyway, I got them to stop shooting, but I can't keep Vasquez from wanting to take you guys out. I'm doing what I can, but it's chaos up here. So I can't talk long. Vaughn is requesting supplies. Oh, and we're stranded out here in the desert. Look, I'm able to track you, so stay safe for now. I'll send what I can. Cool. Hopefully she can help us out. We can't be walking through the desert too long. I mean, not without water. To go through all this and die of dehydration would be pretty lame. Uh, Vaughn? Did you get stung by bees? What? Why? What's happening? Cause you're looking all swole. Huh? Swollen. Sw I, swole is I short don't... for swollen. You are weirdly buff, dude. That's what I'm... I put an exercise bike in my office a few months ago. Don't worry about it. Right. He is pretty young. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm a little envious of the definition he's got going. You're saving the world. It doesn't leave you much time for the gym. Where, uh... Where did you go? Well, that's what I've been quietly contemplating. As I take in the desert air and... wonder what kind of training regimen your friend is on. Reese, who are you talking to? So he definitely can't see me, right? Hey, so... Remember earlier when uh, I said I could... See Handsome Jack? Sure, right after you fell off the ledge. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Well, it's true. Uh, he's standing right next to you. Right. Right. So, handsome... <laughs> handsome Jack is standing next to me. Yes. And I can't see him, but you're able to see him and also talk to him. Correct. He definitely thinks you're crazy. Who exactly is this little muscle-bound tool? Vaughn, you believe me, right? Vaughn, Reese, oh, I'm late for my tea time. Shut up. No, no, not, not you. Sorry. <sighs> okay. Ask him how many fingers I'm holding up. Uh, I don't know. He's scratching his ass and, uh... Oh, God, I think he may have pissed on his shirt. That's not yeah, clean. How many? Three. Three. You're holding up three fingers. Lucky guess. You know it's not. Come on. We should get out of the sun. I... I don't understand. <laughs> Join, Join the club. club. Jinx. Let's go. I can't tell if I'm crazy or you're crazy. I don't know what state of being uh, I'm in right now, but, uh, well, walking still sucks. Man, what are the odds? What does he mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, I mean, of all the people in the universe Handsome Jack could be appearing to, it just happens to be the guy who's totally obsessed with him. 
<laughs> I mean, it's crazy! It's like destiny. Uh, what? Should I be creeped out right now? Because I'm feeling a little creeped out. <laughs> what? No, I wouldn't say I'm, you know, obsessed. I admire his work, sure, but I mean, obsessed? That's a, that's a, that's a strong way to describe it. All right, take it, it down a couple of notches, kiddo. I'm really digging how you're looking at me right now. I'm not sure it is. I mean, think about it. You got all those handsome Jack posters in your office, dude. I think that's a little weird. That makes two of us. Yeah, those are motivational posters. You know, like the cat, hang it. They're Hyperion issued. Well, maybe it has something to do with the Nakayama drive. Namiyaka. What, why does that sound familiar? No, I did shove a bunch of data, you know, straight into my head. Ah, uh, Nakayama, right. The weirdo that was obsessed with me. The other weirdo that was obsessed with me. <laughs> I'm not obsessed. Oh, man. Hyperion would kill to get their hands on this. This? You! Your head or body or whatever Jack is in. Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Whatever version of Jack you've got in there, Nakayama stored it for a reason. Damn right, even this idiot gets it. You no, know, this could actually save our careers. Yes, yes, exactly. You need to get me back up there, kid. Get me into Hyperion, <laughs> and you won't yeah. regret it. Guess so. Yeah, we'll run that place together, kiddo. Huh? You, me, mostly me, but whatever. But uh, that's that's what we gotta do. It's about time. It's gotta be your vet. Hopefully she included some water. Uh-oh! Incoming! <laughs> it's coming right for us. Hey, I guess that tracker's working, huh, boys? It's coming right <laughs> for us! Go to Papa! Nice sock. Fancy meeting you two here. Here I was, out for a nice drive, and I land right on just the guys I was looking for. <laughs> it's red, Hugo. I thought you wanted your car in black. Ho ho ho! <laughs> Let's see what you did there. That's funny. You steal my car, you make jokes about it. That's good, that's great stuff. Look, I know we had a deal. And uh, while I don't like to go back on an agreement... Hey, I that's right, we did have a deal! You convinced me to double-cross my best friend, and the day isn't even over before you're double-crossing me?! Oh, <laughs> oh man, when you put it like that, it does sound awful. Yeah, funny. I get it. Maybe we should try to take this a little more seriously. Should have known better than to trust a snake like you. Oh, don't be like that, little guy. It's just the way of the, uh... Listen, I'm gonna go see if I got a shirt in the truck, because your body is making me uncomfortable. Hold tight, kids. Look, I told him I would sell you out, but I swear I wasn't going to do it. I was just saying whatever he wanted to hear just to keep that jerk off our backs. I wasn't going to follow through with it. Please believe me. I swear, Reese. I he offered me the deal, too. Really? Well, what did you tell him? What's that? They're shovels, genius. You two freaks start digging. I want to see a decent grave going before too long. You heard me. Don't make me tell you again. <laughs> Let's work this out. We're way, way past that. 
Uh, you, me, you and me, we uh, we could partner Partners, up. Partners, huh? Oh, who knew you had such a flair for comedy? You should take that act on the road. Oh, wait, no, you're gonna be dead in five minutes. What part of Dig don't you understand? Let's get going, Mr. Universe. Okay, just don't shoot. There you go. A little hard work never killed anybody. <laughs> to be fair, that was supposed to hit you. Wait. Ugh. Wait! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Damn. Damn that smarts. I think I did that wrong. I you got a tough noggin. Looks so easy in the movies, but amateur hour. You gotta aim for the bridge of the nose, dum dum. How is it every time I show up, you idiots are in a worse situation? <laughs> You're not helping. Uh. All right, fun's over. Looks like we'll be settling for the shallow variety of grave. Reese, you die first, and then he can load your body in the car. I'll bury Vaughn myself. What? Yeah, they want this idiot's body for something up there. Something, uh, important floating around in his head. This is a prototype. The most advanced gun Hyperion has ever made. Someone's overcompensating. Any last words before the, what is it, with the inevitable end of... You don't even know how to use that thing. Maybe you should have read the manual, huh? Manuals are for amateurs. Damn it! Uh, is there a problem? There? I know how to shoot a gun. I just want to get the maximum damage out of this thing. Okay, look, as much as I'd love to watch this idiot kill you two idiots, I can't let that happen. I'm, I'm inside of... I'm not inside you, but I'm like, look, if you go, I go. I've enhanced your Echo Eye, so use it to hack something and get us the hell out of this jam. Figure out how you can pay me back later. I've got you back. Right. Okay, mess this guy up. Heavy, but it's a solid piece of metal. Whoa! Your subsystem access, that's new. Button on a gun, you can do. Push this in. Push this in, and nothing's happening. Oh. Surprise! What the hell's going on? Something feels locked. Where's it? Safety on this. The safety. Whoa! Did you do that? And paranoia! It begins. Okay, we got power. Check. Ammo. doing that. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is an interesting little development. Fine, look, we gotta go. This is my head. Get out. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Oh, oh you see, you see what you did? You see, you see. Race! Yeah, go ahead and run. You're just making this butter for me. Oh, 
Should we be going to Hollow Point or straight to Old Haven? I mean, they know where we're going. Maybe we should just meet them there. Well, I guess we could just meet them in Old Haven, you know, get a head start, or we could always just go to Hollow Point, though that might be dangerous. Man, this is a big decision. <laughs> It's weird, but I, I always, uh, you know, talk to myself during, you know, huge choices. It's just something I do, and I, I know it's just, you know, super important. I, I'm not talking, we'll meet them at Hollow Point, then we'll go together, like a family. Sounds good. To Hollow Point. Okay, I'm sorry! It was just to keep Vasquez off of us! Like I said, I would never betray you, bro! Will you forgive me? Just say yes! Because I feel like super bad right now, bro! Not even worried about it, bro! Man, I'm so relieved to hear you say that, bro! I knew you'd never betray me, bro! Never, bro! Never! Thanks, bro. Hey, we're bros, bro. That's bro, bro. Bro! For bro. Bro, bro. Bro, 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 are you done? Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Unbelievable! I got one. We should probably let him finish. Fine. I'm curious. Why would you choose to go to Hollow Point? What was there to gain? I'm growing impatient. Well, despite what you might call a lack of skill, I've moved up through the ranks at Hyperion fairly quickly. Straight to the middle. And I've been able to do that because of one thing. And one thing only, loyalty. As evidenced by your former boss trying to kill you. We all have our reasons. I suppose yours are good enough. If they were, we wouldn't be here. A man can only take so much. Luckily, you're a safe distance from a man. <laughs> We were stranded in the desert. You had a car. Did you even consider coming to get us? We had our own... One of you will have to change a tire. <laughs>